who's got the prettiest bike? Hang on, mate. Thank you, appreciate that. Now we can see your bike even better. Um, today's little highlight, I suppose, is going to be riding up Jacob's Ladder. It's something I've been very much looking forward to. It's not, not one of those bucket list items that I want to tick off. Yeah, so we'll be getting that today. Hopefully the weather is quite nice. So we're just riding through a forest here. I'm not real sure the name of this place, but I know we're coming up to Britannia Creek Road. I can tell you that. That's about it. Quick stop for a photo opportunity. How magnificent is that? I'm hoping that's Ben Lamond. So here we go, turning onto the road, and it's going to take us up to Glen Lamond National Park and Jacob's Ladder. So as you turn onto the road to your right there, you've got a beautiful little cafe. So grab a tea, coffee, and all that sort of stuff, and a bite to eat before you go up. And what do we have got on the left here? We've got a sign with all the details. So yeah, road subject to ice and snow, June to September, we're clear at the moment. Jacob's Ladder includes steep hairpin sections of road, snow chains must be carried, we won't be needing those, antifreeze must be used in the radiators, we got that, petrol is not available, we got plenty of fuel. And yeah, so National Park's 9.6 kilometres, the Alpine Village is 18 kilometres, which will be the top of Jacob's Ladder. So first thing first, let's go get a coffee. Nice little six colony, here the boys, prepping, working on their nerves. Well that was a nice easy road leading up to this point here. Uh, we're very close now to the switchbacks, as you probably see on my GPS. But just the entrance here, looking up at these cliffs and the like, um, I'll probably swing over to the Insta360 soon and show you some of the stuff up top there. Yeah, it's just absolutely spectacular. The other guys, the other three guys have gone in front of me. I said, go in front and hopefully I can pick them up as we go around the corner. Oh, here we are. Here they are. Nice. Absolutely spectacular. Have a look at that. You can see the car going up over there. So I think earlier on we were right down the bottom there and I'm not sure if you can see that but I was pointing up here to cars going up the track. So this is the official start of Jacob's Ladder. Uh, 30 k's an hour up traffic to give way to down traffic so if you're going up give way to those coming down. Okay let's go. Boys are taking off, they're not waiting for me. Understandable. Camera, you better be working. I don't want to get all the way to the top and find out that my GoPro's not working. I've got the Insta360 as a backup. I'm not going to miss this. So 30 k's an hour is the maximum speed to go up here. I'm sitting on 30 right now by the GPS. That's not a bad little place. So I think the biggest concern for most riders is the steepness of this track and also the switchbacks. I think if you're you know, used to doing switchbacks in the Victorian high country or New South Wales high country, you're not going to have a problem. Like at the end of the day, you know, have a look at what sort of cars we've got going up and down here. We haven't got serious full drives going up and down. He's just going to get out of my way because I need to go up there. Thanks, mate. No problem. Oh, where are we going here? Alrighty. See so if that's that's the seriousness of the switchback. Too easy. Oh, look at that, guys. So I'll try to keep this as smooth as I can. Uh, if my GoPro doesn't pick it up, I'll get it on the Insta. Yeah, that's easy, guys. No worries at all. So I'm run, running Motile's GPS, front and back. I do have the bike in gravel mode. Um, I do it in normal road, so no worries at all. They tell me these are the ones you've got to worry about, the ones to the left, but go, look, I'm just putting around that. I'm balancing, there's no worries at all. So if you're coming up, if you've got some concerns, you know, just go out wide and roll it around like that. This is a big bike, it's a big heavy bike. So it's got to be, you know, 
bit of a challenge for some. One of the guys on the course, on the sorry, on the trip today, is a bit worried about those dropaways, and I can understand that. It is fairly tight. For me, the right hand ones are the ones that are always pesting me. That's no worries. Hey, look at those rocks. Those rocks are amazing. Those cliff faces. I'm surprised I'm not seeing climbers on it. Climbers, you know, going down the edge of that. Wow. I've obviously come back to the phone reception. I'm starting to get messages. It's probably the guys up top saying, where the hell are you? My apologies, just saying that H word. I did have a subscriber complain about one of my videos. I said the, the B word. The B word, and uh, I wasn't too happy about that. So, um, yeah, we had to edit that out of the last video. But anyway, such is life. So this is called Watchtower Corner. This is probably the title one. Ah, that was easy. Sometimes I overthink these corners. And I think, guys, if you're coming up to do it, don't overthink at all. Just do it. You know, there's people watching this who have done it probably several times. They're laughing at it, saying, ah, oh, mate, bloody easy to do it. Don't worry about it. Just go it. Just bang it. Just, you know, send it. Which you can, I suppose. Which you can't exceed 30 k's an hour, by law. Haha. <laughs> oh, look at this. Have a look at that. Look at that. That's blowing me away. I hear the voice. Happy snap. Oh, this is not the top, surely. Is that it? Is that it? Serious? Okay. Well, guys, looks like we're at the top of the switchbacks. We've still got a way to go to the very top. So we got to the top of Jacob's Ladder. We're doing this lookout walk. I think it's called Tower Lookout. What's the name of this track? What's the name of this lookout? No idea. He's checking Google. Ben Lamond? Ben Lamond? No, I think it was Tower Lookout or something. What's the name of the lookout? Uh, no idea. No idea. <laughs> no idea. Okay guys, we've just come down the track from the top of Jacob's Ladder down to Watchtower Lookout. Nice little easy walk. Information, yada yada yada. I'm scared of heights. And there we have it. That's what we just come up. So effectively where that four-wheel drive is down the bottom, so I can get my camera onto it, that's the start of the switchbacks. Round, up, da, 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 da. too easy. Let's take in the view. Absolutely amazing. So I'm assuming that with the um, ski lift up there that the actual ski runs are on the other side of the mount. I'm not going to walk up there for you guys to get that footage. Too far. Too far indeed. Quick check to make sure the GoPro is working. Right, let's go down.
Gateway Corner. Go right up to the edge. Ooh. Long way down. Look at these guys, look at them. Back wheels locking up. Watchtower corner. Just missed the phone call. I don't care. Just gonna pop over here. Look at these guys going down here. Turn the motor off and use my engine as a brake. I'm gonna extend the 360. There's a car waiting for me there. You can hear the brakes locking up. Take it nice and easy. It's certainly well worth coming to do this. Uh, just don't hold back on it. Come on, girl. We talked to a few people on the ferry on the way over and they were very hesitant about it. Some of them heard really bad things about this track. Uh, you know, I, I suppose that sort of baited our mind a lot, not knowing what to expect. But, you know, I watched a lot of YouTube videos and it seemed pretty, I don't know, passive, I suppose, coming down here, up here. We do require a National Park pass to come up here. Uh, we do have them. We purchased them on the ferry, way over. Um, yeah, you know, up to you, I suppose. If you want to do the right thing, get um, access to all the parks without any real concern, get a pass. Chances of getting checked, well, I think it'd be pretty bloody minimal. Oops, I said the bloody word. I'm not bloody well editing it out. Yeah, did a right thing, guys. It's a bit crazy we have to buy all these bloody um so again. Oh, one of my subscribers is going to hate me. But it's a bit crazy you have to buy all these national park passes around Australia to legally traverse the land. You know, we pay so much tax, so much GST. You know, and it's just ridiculous. As a country, we give away a lot of money and still we have to pay with him. Anyway, that's by wind. And that's it. The end of Jacob's Ladder. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment. Yeah, share, like, all that sort of stuff. If you've been up here, if you've been up here on a motorbike before, yeah, let us know what your thoughts are. Um, I might do one more video in Tasmania. I don't know. I haven't done it a lot on this ride. I, I wanted to focus more on the riding and seeing the landscape rather than focusing on when to turn the camera on and off and what to say. Anyway, thank you very much. We'll catch you next time. Cheers.